Hi everyone, it is Patrice from Teresa's Crafty Life. In today's video, I'm going to share a sweet treat embellishment binder swap. This was hosted by Cassie and Carmen. For this swap, we were to make two embellishment binders in sweet treat theme and we will receive two back. Thank you YouTube for hosting a sweet treat swap. I was able to use items that I have in my stash in a fun way. So let's go ahead and jump in. My two partners was Tracy and Wendy. I'll leave their information down below, so be sure to follow them. So for both binders that I made, I tried my best to make them as similar as possible. So here I made a dangle and attached just this lollipop keychain that's from Daiso. I also made this cotton candy bag and I added some pom-poms here. And I have a YouTube video coming out on how I made this. I also attached this dangle here with the hearts. And then the last thing that I made was this little candy bag. This bag is from Bead Craft Babe. So I'll leave her information down below. And I made this cover into a shaker. The paper that I used is from Photoplay. It was one of the double-sided sheets and I use tool to hold the shaker bits. And the shaker pieces are from um, Hobby Lobby and I also added sprinkles and hearts here all throughout the shaker. So my goal was to make like a, a cotton candy truck. So I used this die, this is from Stamps of Life, I believe. And I made these cotton candies really small so that way they can fit inside the truck. I added two doilies, so holographic one and a teal one, and I made these bigger cotton candies, and there will be a tutorial coming out on how I made this too, and I add a bow and a rhinestone. And right here for the word sweet, I added stickles to the letters, and this is what the cover looks like. So now my recipient will open this up, and I just added this pattern paper for like as a design. And then I added this die cut here that she can use on future projects. I made her this card right here. And I'll go ahead and leave a note inside for that. And then here for both of my recipients, I added this a boba shaker pop from Doodlebug. And they both have different types of like uh, die cuts and cut aparts right here that they can use. I also added this cupcake trim. And so this binder is for Wendy. So I actually found this sticker right here, Bake With Love. And this sentiment is very similar to her Instagram handle. So that's why I thought I, this would be cute to add this sticker. And I added, um, so this is like a page protector. And I added a pink mylar to here to give it kind of a contrast. So here on this next page, I um, created the dividers here and I traced out like a template so it's all handmade. So on this page right here, I used these tags from Joann's and I decorated them. So here for this first one, I added this sticker that says life is short, eat dessert first. And I added this um, dessert stand of donuts, which I think is really cute. And then here, I put cake time with a cake here on the left. So this is from Doodlebug. And I added this banner here. And I tried to add like fun elements to my embellishment binder. Um, that way my recipients have fun looking through them. So here I have this page protector that's like two by two in size. And I embellish some coffee cups. And this has like a pink pattern paper, and then this is a popsicle pattern paper. This has pink foil accents on it, and then this has gold on it. So I hope that she likes those. And then I use a acetate page for this, and I just made some crepe paper rosettes and embellished them. I tried to keep them nice and simple so my recipients can add their own touch to them if they like, or actually keep them like this. So I also use Doodlebug for this uh, rosette and I put You Are So Sweet with some cupcakes in the back and then a whisk for this tag and then XO. 
And for this page, I put Hello Sugar with this mixer and then this Doodle Pop. So here is Tracy's binder and her rosettes look different than Wendy's. So for Tracy, she's receiving this one. So the Sweet Life with multiple hearts and then the Cookie Doodle Pop. And then this one, this is probably my favorite. I added a heart. This is a die from Rosie Studio. Added this XOXO tag and this little bow hearts and then this doodle pop so cute next i made these embellishments and it could be used as like a cupcake topper but of course we're probably going to just use it as an embellishment so here i have this sentiment that says cake delicious and i die cut mini cake right here added this sticker in the background and this arrow to indicate this is cake delicious so i thought that was really cute and then for here i added some stickles to the bottom of this cupcake and put the sentiment today will be great added this bling and added this dangle here on this next page this was so much fun to make it's so pretty i almost kept it for myself <laughs> so um this sprinkle paper here this is from a paper pad from the Dollar Tree. It was really thin and hard to work with, so I did have to back it up on um, cardstock. However, I love the way that it turned out. This um, ice cream die is also from Rosie Studio. So right here, I made these shakers. So let me give you, give you a closer look. I made this shaker from that die, and I used gold holographic paper from Michaels, and then this like white holographic glitter paper. It's not really holographic, but it's like, it has a really nice shimmer to it. And then I used the negatives and made these ice cream cones on top of a rosette. And then this tag that says treat yourself. I use a stamp set and cut that out and then added a clay heart piece. And then this one, same thing. I used a stamp set and stamped out yummy added this clay piece and this cupcake. Probably one of my favorite pages. Here I added this pocket. Let me just give you a closer look. And in this pocket I have some bows and I just added some um, ice cream stickers from Jolie. And then here in the back, I used my punch and punched out these envelopes using a vellum sprinkles page. And I embellished them with charms or these little hearts here which is really pretty um that's a heart dangle that's kind of um not settled in there <laughs> and then i made this stamp embellishment so I, I cut this the paper out included this heart donut used the sentiment sweet life and then i added some trim here so pink and gold and then i added this mickey cupcake So for this page, I just made some embellishments. So here at the top, I left them blank so they can embellish it the way that they would like for their projects. And I use this, the circle sprinkle that I use is from Buttons and Galore. And this is what that mix looks like. So this is holographic paper here. Here I made some rolling pins. This is from KS Crafts. And I decided to not make them shakers. I thought it'd be prettier to just add sentiments to um, this if it wasn't a shaker. So I added the sticker sweet and this teal donut. Here I added the sentiment good stuff and this cookie. And then for this, I added I love desserts with a actual cake here on the side. And then I also have this sprinkle mix. And the final page is this, so let me flip it around. I had this idea in mind when I signed up for the swap. And so what I did is I made this into a like donut page. So here at the top, it says sprinkled with love. And then I have this gold ribbon here at the top. And then in the middle is this sprinkle ribbon from Walmart. In addition, I have this sentiment here of ribbon and then I added some pom-pom trim in the sticker and then when you open it up it's like you are receiving donuts so this is a teal donut with white hearts 
and then sweet. And for this pink donut, I went ahead and I put stickles on it to make it look like a, like a gloss in a way. So that's what this looks like. And the requirements for this swap was to make 12 embellishments. And yeah, I went a little over. <laughs> and I actually have, I actually made um, some more that doesn't quite fit in here because it was getting so chunky. Um, so I'll just use that for another project. And then here I added this um, pouch. This is from the Dollar Tree. And I just made like a little hinges here. That way it could flip. And I just have stickers, goodies, die cuts, and chipboard. These are a gold and white chipboard from Michaels. And then here in the back, I also used that cupcake trim. And I just added some stickers here. Um, this is actually a um, air freshener, but hey, he's as an embellishment. And then this puffy sticker. So this is the embellishment binder that I made for the swap. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.